How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here with a continuation of the game Moon Chronicles for Nintendo 3DS. Brought to you by Renegade Kid, found on the Nintendo eShop. Now in case you guys haven't seen my previous playthrough of Moon Chronicles, definitely check it out. Moon Chronicles is a remake of a DS game. It's divided up into four episodes, and within the episodes there are different chapters. Uh, last year, uh, Renegade Kid came out with episode one, and now is the release of episodes 2, 3, and 4. You can head to the eShop right now and download all three of those episodes for $9, um, or you can download them separately for $4.50 apiece. So, by buying all three of them, you will be saving $4.50. It's an awesome game. It's a first-person shooter, and there are not too many great first-person shooters out there for the Nintendo 3DS, so definitely, definitely pick this one up, because I love playing through episode 1. Now, I need you guys to actually get caught up on where we're at in the story. So, look at the playlist in the description, and then you can pretty much see what happened on the previous um, whole episode. Ultimately, we travel to the moon, we take a look at the base, um, and something crazy is happening at the base. So, here we go. We're going to jump right on in to episode two. Uh, let's jump on in. We're going to go on veteran setting, because, uh, simply put, veteran setting is the hardest difficulty within the game and we're pretty good at the game right we've played it before anyway so here we go um i'll show you guys the controls uh, in case we're not familiar uh, the bottom screen right over here uh you've got the muon pistol i've got eight shots you've got a remote droid um and you've got the super assault rifle the sar so with that being said uh we are ready to go um i like the default control scheme using the L button for shooting. Um, I like using the um, the stylus for aiming. Uh, it reminds me a lot like Metroid Prime Hunters for the Nintendo DS if you played that. And then if you want, you can use uh, the, uh, the R button for your actions, uh, like opening doors or picking up your droid. So here we go. Without further ado, we're going back under the surface over here. You guys can kind of see that everything is very fluid. The sound effects are amazing. The visuals are great. So this is... Uh, this is good. Let's see what's, uh, what lies ahead. Alright, looks like another map terminal. Ooh, there we go. So a little bit of a Metroid-esque map, as we've seen. Okay, Major Kane is the main character here. Uh, there are two locations marked on the map. General, the last area with these markings was an extremely powerful security robot and, dis and destroyed it... Uh, triggering electromagnetic storm that could have killed everyone in the entire sector. Given that my men are still out there, I'm not sure that a direct approach is the best tactic. Major, you've proven yourself capable of dealing with hostile fire. Uh, we have reason to believe that these coordinates will offer valuable intel. As for your men, we have no reason to believe that they're here or that they're even alive. Our best hope is finding, uh, of finding them is to learn what you can about the structure. You have your orders. Understood. Kane out. All right, so there we go. There's another terminal right there. Looks like uh, the only way we can go... Oh, here we go. Now, if you've ever played any, like, Metroid games, um, especially Metroid Prime, this reminds me a lot, like, whenever we see these kinds of terminals, uh, you can click on them and then learn a little bit about what's happening on the inside. System Log 003, Harvesting. Subjects are extracted at a rate of 100 individuals per Earth rotation. Subjects are transferred directly to the facility's holding tanks via precision particle beam that deconstructs the subject and reconstructs it on site. Success rate is 99.99%. So, subjects extracted at a rate of 100 individuals. Okay. Interesting. So, 100 people in a day? Weird. Okay. So, we're learning a little bit about this moon base here. Not really sure what the heck's going on. Alright, let's open up this door. Let's see what's in here. Anything in here? Save progress, sure. Okay, health restored, little save spot. Okay, um, right off the bat, why the heck not? Alright, does anyone read me? I can't tell if my helmet comlink still works. I'm trying to figure out where I am. Burton, is that you? Report in, soldier. Blast, he's been cut off. But they must be still alive. Okay, interesting. Well, let's see what this is. Watch this. Ooh, okay. A uniquely strange terminal. You see this, Captain? I don't know what to make of it. I hate to say it, Major, but neither do I. 
You're my tech officer, Tsuke. Give me something to go on here. Hmm, possibly a multi-key security system. Judging by its layout, it's missing two components. Remember the two locations marked on your map? I don't think that's a coincidence. Neither do I. I'm heading to the first location now. Kane out. Uh, it looks like a gun or something, right? Like, if you put it all together, that's like the, the load beam or something like that, where, like, all the energy comes out of. That seems pretty interesting. All right, let's see if we can go ahead over here. Okay, so that's locked. All right, well, we'll take the, uh, we'll take the right approach. Uh, let's see what's going on. Oh, yeah. Love the visuals, man. And the eerie, ooh. Oh, I remember this sound. Now, the SAR, the Super Assault Rifle, has infinite ammo. And this is health, you see, with the two blue um, lights over there. So that's a full health. Uh, I don't necessarily need them. This is, um, yeah, this is smaller health. Oh, my God. Whenever you hear that, that means that there's more. Oh, what the heck? Where? Oh, my God. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Where the heck are the rest of them? Okay, they're everywhere. I don't like that noise. Oh, my God, this eerie dungeon. Okay, well, let's see. Can I go in here? Well, actually, you know what? Let's bust out our remote droid right over here. So, uh, we remember from this thing, it can only take a couple hits, and it has a stun gun. So whenever there's something on the ground, you can only stun it. Okay, is there anything else over here? Oh my. And it opens up uh, little force fields. So let's see what we have here. An alien artifact, set two. Uh, one of three, collect all alien artifacts to unlock secret missions. Okay. Well, we'll easily take that. Why the heck not? So it's our job to find all of the ancient alien artifacts. Oh, that's not good. And like the closer you get, if you guys are watching uh, watching this in HD, uh, the closer you get, the louder it becomes with all those alien sounds. It's kind of creepy. Considering we're all alone here, examining a moon base. Okay, in the world. Oh, God! Okay, this is our first sighting of some aliens. Oh my goodness, I only have eight shots on my pistol. The pistol's stronger, oh my god. Oh my. I gotta be strafing left and right. Now there's, in like I said, there's infinite ammo on the SAR. But at the cost of infinite ammo, you have a very weak um, accuracy on it. Okay, that was very scary. Now, keep in mind, we're playing this on Veteran, so that means that, oh my god, that if we get hit, it's going to take a lot of damage. Really? How many hits? Oh, that's a quarter of my health. Okay, and I got a little bit of health back. That's good. Unbelievable, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, crud. Here it comes. Yeah, the accuracy on this thing is terrible. Oh, and we got a spider. But luckily for me, if I stay far, like maybe one out of three of the shots will get him. Oh, ho, ho, I strafed into that shot. Oh, two spiders. I can't have that. Oh, my God. Yo, are you kidding me right now? Did I kill that one? Oh my god, I didn't kill that one. Seriously. Oh. Whew. Oh my, I gotta take a breather. Hold the phone. Alright, well. There's really nothing going on over here. Alright, well, let's see. Okay, here's another, um... A lore. Or, um, some sort of... History, 00 or 0006, the planet Earth. Cultivation began during the prehistory of the species, living in small, isolated groups occupied with hunting and foraging, lacking any advanced techno technological knowledge and tending to superstition. The early humans were easily cultivated and harvested. What? Wow. So, apparently, in this alien base, they've been abducting a uh, uh, humans since very early on in civilization. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, right on my shoulder. That's not good. No! 
One more shot and I'm dead. Oh my god. Please tell me that's full health. I need it. Oh, come on. That's ammo? I can't afford to get shot anymore. Let's go pistol. You know what? No, I can't afford... Ah, you know what? Oh my god. I kind of lured them over. Should I go in and, like, attack them now? Oh my god. That is a strategy that you can do in this game. Is kind of uh, send out your drone to kind of freeze these guys a little bit. And then just charge in there and get some free shots really quick. Oh, yeah. Health. Oh, full health. Woohoo! Yeah! Okay, I got lucky. I'm getting a little rusty here. I'm getting a little rusty. Just saying. Okay, well, we're almost at this first uh, first waypoint over here. What's going on down there? Okay, that's probably where it's at. Oh, my. We've got company. Well, you know what? Should I shoot it? It's always good to kind of sneak up ahead. Ooh, there he is. Oh, my. Hold on. If I shoot it, I won't be close, so i got to come this way a little bit. Okay, now I can shoot it. Okay, good. Got it? Go! I gotta pick up my thing. Where's my droid? Where's my droid? Oh, and a spider. Okay, good. Popped it from afar. That's awesome. Oh my god! I know what that is. I know exactly what that is. Oh, I remember those from the previous episode. Oh! That's, oh my god, spider's here. Hold on. Get my droid. Yo, spider! I can shoot him in the legs. Oh, oh, he's not even anywhere near me. I'm wondering if any of these shots are hitting him. There we go. Got him. Whoo! And what is this? That's probably health. I'll leave that there. Oh, god. Ah! Droid! Droid. Go! Yeah! Look at that! Alright, one of them's ammo. Okay, I'll take the ammo. I'll leave the health. Oh! Ho -ho! Whoa! Hold the phone! I gotta remember to pick up my droid. Alright. Okay, this thing's not really gonna do much. You know what? I might as well deploy it. And shoot it. Just so it wouldn't do anything. There we go. Popped him. Okay, who else is in here? Oh my god, I hate these things. Ah, I'm out of ammo. Come on, pop him. Good. Whew. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Okay, good. Got him. Switch over. Shoot this thing while it's stunned. There we go. That's how we play this game, man. Alright, taking that droid back. Oh, man. Whoa. Hoo -hoo. Alright, here, another lore. Let's see. Okay, this is a viral status, political concerns. Production has increased despite legal challenges and action from regulatory agencies. Uh, the sector overlord maintains that the substance has valued medical and military applications, using these needs as a political cap capital to divert attention from our other operations. Viral status, huh? Okay. Not really sure what that's all about. Oh, look. Our very first uh, piece that we were looking for, right? The missing piece. One of the missing pieces. Da -na -na -na. Okay, maybe you were onto something. Suke, do you think this is a piece of the, to that device? Definitely. Find the other piece and then return to the central terminal to assemble them. Okay, so we found our first piece. Uh, let's let's walk back. Hopefully, we can make it back without the enemies respawning. Question mark. I do have my droid, right? Yep. Okay. And that's a strategy too, leaving, um, oh here, you know what, I'll go in this corner. 
Because whenever you look at the map on the bottom screen, if it's red, then that means that you went over to that area. If it's blue, that means it's unaccess uh, unaccessible yet. Is there an area that I did, that I missed over here? Like if I go straight up ahead? Oh, okay. Oh, no, I was just looking at that. All right, well, here we go. Open sesame. Oh, God. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, here we go. We got this, right? Right, Major Kane? No one's here. <laughs> Let me look at the map. Yeah, we pretty much... All we have to do is just go to the back. Go back, right? That's easy. Look at these vials. I think maybe that's the stuff that they were talking about that has, like, military use. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. But this is all a mystery. This base on the moon here, this is all a mystery to us. And we're trying to find out what happened to our crew members. And if they're still alive. Okay, we went down there, found a secret artifact. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck was hitting me? Oh, this stupid spider? Give me that health. Okay, good. I was going to say, I should have just stepped on it. Oh, it's so good that all the health power-ups actually stay there. I'm glad that they did that in this game, because especially if you're playing on veteran like me over here, that's going to be something else. All right, well, uh, where are we at on time? We're at like 20 minutes. Okay, well, how about we do this? We're going to stay right over here. We're going to look at the map. Uh, the next episode, I'm going to head over to the uh, leftmost area and hopefully find the second piece so we can put this weird machine thing together. Uh, so we'll leave it at that. I do want to make the episodes uh, around like 20 minutes a piece just so uh, we're not draining on. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the episode, definitely smash that like button and go to the eShop right now and download the game. Why the heck not? Especially if you played or have the save data for Moon Chronicles Episode 1, you might as well drop for the season pass and get all three of them so you can play along right with me. If you're brand new to Moon Chronicles, I highly suggest it. It's a very awesome first-person shooter. Very smooth, 60 frames per second. It's amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, definitely, if you guys want some more, hit that subscribe button, share the video with a friend, and of course, um, subscribe for more. I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye, guys.